I'm going to be showing you how to make an intro cutscene in Roblox. So the first thing you want to do, open this up so it's easier to see, and then go to view at the top here. And then you're going to want to go to explore and properties, and then open output just in case you make a typo somewhere. Next, since we're going to be moving the camera for our intro cutscene, we're going to go to home and then make a part. This part is going to be what our, where we're going to be using to animate our camera. We're just going to attach the camera to it and then animate this part. So I'm just going to go to scale and I'm just going to change this size to something like this. And then I'm going to duplicate the part and we're going to have two of them now. So I'm going to name this one center and then I'm going to anchor it, turn off collision, make it invisible. And then for the second one, we can just turn off the collision, make it massless and don't anchor it. Next, we're going to press control and select the other one. If you can't see it or can fi can't find it, you just go to explore, click the part, and then click the center, and then either press Control G or right click and group it up. Now they now they should be in a model, so I'm just gonna name it Cutscene Parts. Then we're gonna go in here. You wanna you're gonna wanna click the model and select it. Go down to Properties, and then go down to Primary Part. You're gonna wanna click this area and then select the center part. That'll set the primary the primary part as the center. Next, we're going to want to right click the center part, insert object, and then insert a motor 60. This is what we're going to be using to animate the secondary part, which is just going to be the camera. So we're going to set the part zero of the motor 60. So select motor 60 and then go to properties, part zero, select that to center, and then part one to the other part. Now to make it easier to see where it's facing, I'm actually going to get a mesh. So I'm going to go to toolbox up here. And then I'm going to search for a camera mesh. I'm going to get this one right here. And I'm just going to insert it into the part. Now we can see where the part is facing. And if you're using this one, it should automatically just be facing directly forward. I'm going to close toolbox now. I'm just going to scale this down a bit. And now we have our camera part. Next, to start animating it, we're just going to go to avatar at the top here and then go to animation editor. If you have moon animator, then you can use that. That's what I would normally use. But since it costs a lot of Robux now, we're going to be using the default animator for this. So we're just going to go to Avatar and then Animation Editor. So we're just going to move this somewhere. I'm just going to put it up here. I'm going to scale it a little bit and I'm just going to close Output. And since it can't recognize the group yet, we're just going to right click it, Insert Object, Insert an Animation Editor or an Animation Controller. Right click it again. Now you can select the group and then it should select it if you have the Animation Controller in it. Now I'm just going to name the animation intro cutscene and then I'm going to press create. And then now you should be able to animate this. So you just want to click here and then you can be able to move the part around. And from here, it's just going to be animating until we're done with the animation. So I'm going to do that real quick. So to animate it, you just set these keyframes around and you can animate it like this. So I go to my second keyframe. You can just select like all the way over here and then start moving it. And by the time the time reaches this, it'll be moved over here. So as an example, I put the camera over here on this keyframe and on these two keyframes, it's over here. As you can see here, if I just press play, it'll move between those pretty smoothly. To make it smoother, I usually just select these, right click, easing style, and then you can choose some of these like cubic V2, and then you can change the easing direction like in out. This is what I would recommend. And as you can see here, it'll move a bit smoother. Now, since this is just a tutorial, I'm just going to go with this animation. You can add more to it and you can add other rigs as well if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go with this. Next, you're, once you have your animation, you just want to go to publish to Roblox and then this should pop up on your screen and intro cutscene and you just want to press save. Now, this part is important. Before you close this, go to the ID here and click right there. It'll copy it and you want to keep that. Now you can close it. Then we can close the animation and editor entirely and it'll reset and then I'm going to open up output again. Now before you lose the ID from your clipboard, you're just going to want to right click the cutscene parts model, insert object, insert an animation, and then insert the ID into there. And you should have your ID. Now we can forget about the ID because we already saved it right there so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Now we're going to start scripting the animation and it should be pretty simple. We're just going to attach the camera to the camera part and we're going to make it play the animation. And then once it's done playing, we're going to reset it and put it back to the character. So we're going to go to replicated first. We're going to right click it, insert object, and then insert a local script. And then I'm just going to name it intro cutscene because that's all the script is going to be used for. Now that we're in the script, we can remove this print here. 
and now we're gonna start setting up our variables. So local run service was game get service run service. We're going to be using this to move the camera every single frame. And then the camera parts, so local camera parts equals workspace, wait for child, cutscene parts. Then local attach to equals camera parts, wait for child part. We're gonna attach the camera to that. And of course we gotta get the camera itself. So local camera is workspace.current camera. So we have all of our variables here. First, we're gonna set the camera type to scriptable. So camera.cameraType equals enum.cameraType.scriptable, meaning it won't follow the character or anything. Next, we're gonna attach the camera to the part, which is pretty simple. Run service, bind to render step, which is just every frame. Uh, camera cutscene, you can name this whatever. And then set the render priority to the camera value plus one, meaning it has pretty much the highest priority that it needs. A function and then boom every single frame the code inside of here will run next we're just going to set the camera c frame to the c frame of the camera part so camera dot c frame equals attached to dot c frame and then it'll basically just be attached now we just need to play the animation now one thing i would recommend it especially if you're playing more than one animation you're going to want to get this service the local content provider goes game get service content providers, and then you use this to load the animation before you play it. So content pr provider, preload, camera parts, dot animation, and put it in a table. And this will preload your animation so it doesn't lag behind, get delayed, or anything like that. So I'd recommend doing that for things like cutscenes. Now we're gonna actually play the animation. So local animation, it was camera parts, wait for child animation controller, wait for child animator, load animation, camera parts, wait for child animation. So it'll wait for all of these to load and it'll just load the animation. Now we're gonna play it, so animation play. And I, I recommend setting this to something super low. Zero is pretty buggy. So I just put a really low number to so the point that it doesn't matter. And then it should be working. We're also going to end the cutscene whenever the animation ends. So animation dot ended wait run service unbind and then the name you put and then we're going to set it back to custom. Now we can press play. And as you can see here, our camera is attached to the part It's doing the intro cutscene. And then once it ends, it goes back to our character. Now, as you saw, it did a little thing where it went back to the center. To fix that, you just change this to stopped. As soon as the animation ends, it'll end there. And then lastly, we're going to make this part invisible because we don't need to be seeing it. And you can also turn off all of these properties now. The script will be in the description and the pinned comment. Make sure to slap the like button if this tutorial helped you. Subscribe for more daily tutorials. And peace.